Welcome to lesson 5.5, expressions for area and surface area. In this example, we have a complex figure and we need to find the area. In unit 2 and also back in 5th grade, you learned to break apart a complex shape in order to find the area. So if I look at this figure, I see one rectangle and a second rectangle. So I can find the area of my two shapes and add it together. So we'll start with figure A. So I know to find the area of a rectangle, I just multiply length times width. So I know this side is 8, but I'm not sure what this side is. Oh, over here I have 3. So it's going to be 8 times 3. Well, that is the area of shape A. I need to add it to the area of shape B. Shape B, I see one side is 5, and my other side, I'm not sure how wide it is. So if from here to here is 3, and I know this whole side is 7, then I know 7 minus 3 would be 4. So this side right here is going to be 4. So now I have written an expression to represent my complex figure. So I've written my expression. Now I can use the order of operations and solve it. So I know that in this example, I do not have any parentheses or exponents. But I do have multiplication and addition. So I'm going to start with multiplication. Remember, it's always left to right. So going left to right, I see 8 times 3. Let me rewrite the expression real quick. So 8 times 3 is 24. I'm not going to add anything yet because I still have to multiply. 5 times 4 is 20. Now I go to my next step and I add. 24 plus 20 gives me 44. So I use an expression and the order of operations to find the area of my complex figure. And okay, now I have to write a different expression for the same shape. So this shape should have the same area as the one we just solved, which we got 44. But we can't use the same expression. We have to come up with a new one. So one way to do that is to look at our complex shape and make it bigger. So I'm going to extend it so it's one big rectangle. Same as before, to find my area, it's just length times width. So in this case, my length is 8 times my width, which is 7. Now, I'm not done because we made this shape bigger, so we need to get rid of the excess. So I'm actually going to subtract the area of this rectangle that I added in. So, um, first I have to find the length of my sides. So I know this side, um, let's See, so here to here is 5, then here to here would be 8. 5 plus 3 would be 8, so 
So I know that side is 3 times I need to know this length. Again, I know this whole side is 7. From here to here, it is 3. 3 plus another 4 would give me 7. So to find the area of this rectangle, I would just do 3 times 4. Now, let's solve and see if we get the same thing. Again, I'm using PEMDAS. I don't have parentheses. I don't have exponents. I do have multiplication. So that's where I'm going to start. Let me move this out of the way. So 8 times 7 is 56, 3 times 4 is 12. All I have left to do is subtract. So let's do a little helper problem. If I subtract, I get 44. So I've written a different expression for the same shape. Today, you learned how to represent area using expressions.